Oregon is blessed with an abundance of back road byways that are also gateways to unique outdoor adventures. Hi there, I'm Grant McComey, your host for Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways. And this week we discover that you don't have to look very far to find a back road byway. In fact, there's an often overlooked one that reaches from Portland to the coast more than 70 miles. It's a location you've probably missed, but not this week. Come on along for a whistle stop tour along the lower Columbia River's Highway 30 for wildlife and waterfall wanderings. A cold winter chill may dampen, but never drown my spirit for adventure along Oregon roadways that are less traveled. Especially when I have so much wild company to show the way. Man, drop in at Sovie Island Wildlife Area just off State Highway 30. An Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife site that caters to visitors, those with feathers and those without. It's becoming very popular. The largest part of our visitor use is through non-hunting use. Just want to come out and look. It's quite the resource for that. We have basically two or three main points in the winter time for viewing. You can view wildlife at Coon Point, and then we also have a viewing platform. And can you see birds at all those locations? Certainly. This route between Portland and Astoria may not be the fastest, but that's okay by me because I can pull off and watch the B-52s of the waterfowl world at Trojan Pond. Tundra swans seem to fill the sky on six-foot wingspans. Now, the tundra swans have been coming here to Trojan Pond about as far back as I can remember, now more than 40 years, probably longer. If you come to watch them, keep a couple things in mind. First, bring these. They make a big difference enjoying the show. Also, these big birds, they mate for life, and they have one heck of a migration all the way from subarctic Alaska and Canada. They also travel in families, usually five or six to a group, and the youngsters are easy to spot. They're modeled in black or gray. Just past Rainier, dive off Highway 30 onto Beaver Falls Road, where waterfall wanderings provide two falls for the price of one stop. The upper Beaver Falls is easy enough to find. It's mere steps from your car. And there's a swift flowing cascading rapid just above, the main falls that drops 11 feet over basalt rock. There's a deep pool below that no doubt is popular swimming hole on warmer days, but that's not today. The drive to the next falls is less than two miles, and consider this. The narrow winding roadway was once the main state highway built a century ago. Now Beaver Falls Road is quiet and out of the way. Perhaps that's not so bad. Beaver Creek Falls is spectacular, no doubt about it nearly 50 feet from top to bottom in a curtain-like affair, but I have to add a note of caution. I'm on the other side of the roadway and you can see a chain link fence. It required about a 100 yard hike and I'm on a very narrow path. Caution is critical. And so we're on the move for the best is yet to come. If it flies or tweets or make a sound, it's everything's in there. I mean, it's from elk to hummingbirds. Twilight Eagle Sanctuary has more than 100 acres of protected wetlands and forests spread like an apron in front of Burnside Road. I had a pie-billed grebe out here a while ago. Can't find them now. Local photographer Neil Main says, Paradise isn't a place, but a place you decide to know. He's gotten to know this corner of Oregon pretty well. This is one that I think works almost all the time. The vista here is outstanding, maybe one of the best in the lower river. Prairie Channel right in front here, always something going on. Lots of ducks today and see egrets in here a lot. Of course, blue herons are always cruising by. There's a lot of wild settings. So you can kind of count on owning it for at least a few minutes when you come here. It doesn't draw a crowd. That's the nature of State Highway 30 along the lower Columbia River where you will not find many crowds, but you will find adventures. And we have all the details, directions, and the contact information for this segment right here on the Travel Oregon website. So check it out. Until next week, get out here and explore the great Oregon outdoors and let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComey.